campaign controls have been activated. All right, let me just... The match has uh, been restarted here. Three... Two, one. They had somebody lagging out, so we had to restart this match. And actually, we're getting this game underway one more time. Polevka here on the defense here. We will see if now CDP are a bit more successful than they were in the first attack. They just went in there, didn't, well, score anything. And uh, then you saw some of them were lagging. So they decided to restart here. Polevka actually agreed to that, but because it was only, it is after all, only kind of shows. Now the diamond has been dropped inside that. Uh, controls thing and no, it has not actually been dropped outside, so that was too bad here for the LR team and Polefka are literally only them right now. Completely double kill here, and there are the CDAP players coming in. Nothing happening right now here. Dynamite has been armed, but it will not. It will go off, but it will not destroy anything. And I can't see anything of the cha any of these changes uh, having any influence right now because there's no spawn killing, there's no pass powers, there's no mortar thing. So, do we? What's going on? Well, the crane controls have been put, I'm sorry, has been activated and the goal is in the truck and they're now defending the truck. 8 minutes and 14 seconds left on this clock and Blake and Kype are now incoming. Hate so is left there together with Sinus and only Slash right now. Team kill there for the revive. Nate incoming Slash is there. Can he take down anyone? No. Killed up to spoof in the truck and Blake takes him down and Duro has secured that spawn. Axis have just spawned and it's looking very good for Vero. They're gonna set a time of about seven minutes. That is, well, it's pretty fast if they move this truck right now, though. But uh, Psychotic is stopping them with all they got right now. Chinta there with his artillery kill. Oh, but Apple got his cold kill right there, and the truck is now around that. Um, well, it's a bit further than but snow down around east. Has to be past east. Blake now incoming from that main from east side together with Jura and Meth, and they're now taking that truck home. Oh yes, they are. All the area has been secured, and the axes are not looking strong in the defense. Definitely not looking strong in the defense. No team play at the moment. And the truck is past the east. Fires put Chuck down right now. All that truck. Right, let's just go to the other match then because they've just uh, exploded. The dynamite has exploded and the crane controls are. And no, the door controls are gone, of course. So CDAP players are now already going for the party. One of them, one of the Polefka players tried to defend the command post, was unsuccessful though, because there were just five CDAP players coming and they're now going for the objective. And we will see how that is working out here. The Polefka players have already set up their positions. They are distributing some medipacks, distributing some ammunition, and they're waiting for those players to come in. There's Lockheed, there is Fast Matters. They're all doing a pretty good job right now as keeping them back. The double kill for Fast Matters. They come from another kill by Lockheed. Taken down the last remaining players, Lazar with his MP40. And that was the first rush by the Allied side. Nothing happening right now, so still what's happening on your match. Well, this map has, well, the first map, uh, the first round on this map has been played. It's now, the clock is set to 8 minutes and 21 seconds. And the highest fragger is Apple. Although, I'm too late to see what he has actually got. But Apple is the highest fragger. He was playing a nice game, and so was Slash. And uh, right now it's Psychotic's turn to attack. Um, but they didn't look so strong in the defense, and they have a horrible tag as well, I might say. I like it. Uh, Alright, might be wild. So are they starting yet? Uh, no, no, no. Ten, waiting for 10 players to right. be up. So let me just give you a short update on what's happening in Polefka match here. At the moment, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty hard to spot if these uh, changed spawn times actually have any effect. I didn't see any spawn killing, but well, when do we ever see uh, that amount of spawn killing on Adlerns? You don't. So I guess I will have to wait for the next one, which is uh, kind of destined to be a spawn killing on the supply depot. So at the moment, CDFP are just going to be trying to go for the parts. And Lockheed with the double kill there down gets knifed. It's Fast Madis who was stabbed in the back there. And the STFU player is going in there. See. 
Leto is leading the way here, only left with his handgun though, and Cod is there being shot in the back. He is down. Polish Mystic falling to the ground. He will be revived and taken up by Lockheed. There he goes, Lockheed once again with that double kill. He has scored a lot of double kills so far, but the CDAP players are coming in there. Iron with the double kill. The rifle and Garrett. Two kills in a row. Cod with three kills here. Oh, and Fest Mad is just takes down two of his teammates there with the grenade was perfectly timed not for the opponent but for his team so there comes Lockheed once again with two kills single grenade that was I guess so 10 minutes and 28 seconds if you tune in late uh, to synchronize that one if you're on a TTV and the Polevka players are still quite strong here and are the other players already starting Sephotic, Vero? Yeah they are right now this match is almost on their way in five, four, three, two, one, and fight. Yeah, there we go right now. So we have psychotic on the attacking theme. We have team. We have four allies pushing main and two allies in the tunnel. Nate spam for the axis and fires to put Chuck down there. Doesn't take on anyone so far. Artillery has also been put down there around that panzer spot. Right, but, uh, so, don't sorry to panzer. interrupt you, but uh, CAP have just taken the part and I think uh, right. I have to cover that one. So they're just going through the spawn. It looks pretty good for them, although there are six axis players inside. And we will now see how that is working out. Three players coming from the command post. In fact, it's already made it in there. Are four players right beside the transmitter, but they're being cut down. They're caught one kill, as mad as one kill, that comes self killed by the CDAPs and one of the medics has got a long spawn or has he? No, it's taken down, there comes a grenade, a lot of reviving going on right now as they're waiting for the parts to be secured, parts are coming in the lower way, we'll see if a DSM is actually going to make it, DSM is there as the only one with the parts and this seems a pretty secure one, they are there on the right side but DSM goes in, secures the parts, over to you Stewie. Yeah, well, almost. Yep, there they go. Psychotic just got that flag when he's being bat raped by Juro, but he got that flag. But Apple's incoming together with Addicts, and they take down Lynx, and that means they got the flag back. And allies have not spawned there right now. They're incoming right now. Kip has been taken down, but yeah, Cena's with a kill there. Where's the rest incoming? Slash now upcoming for the flag. He's all alone. He's back raping Addict, but Apple is there too, and Apple takes him down. So well played by Vero there. And the allies are, yeah, there they go. Only Sinus right now. And they, H3, only three allies left, not much they can do. Couple of guys now incoming from that tunnel. And there they go, Nate Spam going up that plate. Blake with a Nate kill there. Psychotic not looking very strong. Six minutes and 32, 31 and 30 seconds left on this clock here. And Vero first, Psychotic. Vero just spawned. And Psychotic incoming right now from upstairs. And uh, you can give me a shout when you need to say something. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to because they haven't started yet, so just go All right. ahead. Well, right now, H3 is coming up from that upstairs way, but he's been taken down there by Addict and Apple, and the, so have the rest of the team uh, has been taken down. Right now, Jins are incoming. He takes down one. Can he move forward? He's been uh, covered now by Lynx. Meth pushes out together with Blake. Can they take them down? Apple jumps down, rapes Jinta from behind. Lynx got him with his nade. He revives Jinta. Axes have just spawned. There they come right now low, and Jinta incoming. Taken down by Blake there. There goes Lynx, but it's too late right now. And the Jinta has been gipped, and Blake and Juro are just covering that section pretty well. And 5 minutes and 40 seconds left on this clock. And my gut tells me that Vero will be able to hold this flag. Uh, to, hold, yeah, to hold this flag. They still have the forward flag. bunker flag. Nope, they still don't have the forward bunker flag. Psychotic have been attacking for about 3 minutes. And they still haven't got the flag nor dynamite down there. Right now they're incoming again. There goes Slash together with Jen Kevlar. Kevlar there with a team kill from this drive. And that's just unfortunate. You jump inside, you know, you get in lower. And then you team kill. You're only two. Um, it's just unfortunate. Fire support now chucked down there. Will not take down anyone. And they're moving the truck uh, closer and closer all the time. Attic pushes out. Axis have to spawn. There's Slashy incoming together with Jinta. Jinta puts down his dynamite. But Kype for the back rape. Kype takes him down, but Lynx takes down Kype, and Kepler is now activating it together with Jinta. Mm, Engineer is dead from the Axis side, but he can be revived. And there's another one, and they're both dead, but both one is revived right now. There's only one medic left there. He's now reviving the other ones. None of the Axis have been killed. There were just three Axis lying there hurt, and both revived. And that H3 nade comes in too late. Dynamite has been defused, and that means that after four minutes and 29 seconds left on this clock that the flag nor the bunker 
<coughs> now that flag has still not been captured. No dynamite down there as well. Jintana comes in, takes down one. In the plant that dynamite, he is covered by H3. H3 has been shaken down by Duro, and Duro and Kaif take down um, Jinta as well. Right now it's Slash going up, but Kaif, um, I'm sorry, but Addict takes him down. And allies pushing in again. Two allies versus two versus one Axis. And <laughs> they took them that many seconds to take down a guy with a cult. And Jinta still hasn't planted. And Axis therefore has spawned. He reloaded his weapon instead of planting. And that gave a that gave Axis time to get back downstairs and rip him. And they did. Alright, actually it's it's quite good that we're having the steel yes. cast because this match is still not starting and I might have fallen asleep. <laughs> well, I wouldn't fall asleep, man. I hope this is pretty exciting, though. But uh, yeah, three minutes and thirty seconds left on this clock, and yeah, Vero will just pull them off. Right. And Juro got a double nade carry there as well, right at the main. Right now, it's Sinus incoming, but they're all incoming jumping, and it's just easy target, you know. It's hard to shoot when you're jumping. The spread increases. Doesn't look too good by Psychotic. Three allies not incoming from low. There's only three axes left. Slash going up, but he's taken down by Duro there. And so have the rest of our team. And they're still not managing to push through. Important and announcement here. Three, two, one. We're getting this match started. Five minutes and 53 seconds was the time it was set in the first round here. Now CDAP are trying to hold them off. Uh, so far, the new config, see, uh, it, I, it didn't have any effect at all, it seemed. Uh, maybe the spawn times, I don't know. I, I didn't really realize it. Because it is an, ac an allies favored map anyway, this map. So I, d I don't know if that has actually had any effect. CDAP now coming in. Some team kills there. And Lockheed is there with his thumbs trying to go. And Vectors has been taken down T1. All through ground as well. And there will be the dynamite any second now. Snow drops the dynamite. He's about to do so at least. There comes the dynamite. Snow arms it. There come the CDAP players. But they are not able to take. Oh, they are actually able to take out the engineer. Dynamite and now the dynamite has not much that can happen to that dynamite anymore. So Stewie, what's looking like in supply? Well, not Only much has happened soldier. since you took over. And uh, yeah, H3 already giving out that the GG is in the well played because uh, the flag has still not been captured. 1 minute and 50 seconds, 57, 55 right now left on this clock. And they're not going to capture it at all, and it's not looking good. Uh, I know Supply Depot is a more skilled map than Browndorf, but uh, I think that on Browndorf they will not stand a chance at all. Either Jinta there with a double kill, can he make it a third? Can he make it a third? He's looking to, oh no, he's raped from behind by Apple as he was planting that dynamite. But uh, yeah, this game is pretty much over, you know, 1 minute and 30 seconds left on this clock, and they don't have the bunker. Alright, so here it is not over yet, so the CDP players are still defending their lives and their precious documents here. Some ammunition has been dropped to the ground here, and there are all the Palefka players just built the command first. There are three players coming in the lower way, but CDAP is still quite strong there, and Decim is there at the lower level, comes around the corner, puts some bullets into the head of the first one, and DC is there, and it actually is successful in taking him down. Oh, there comes the team kill rifle, but. After that one, I came to revive, so no harm done, at least only a little harm done. And there are the Flavka players once again coming in. Chester gets the first Thompson frag. They are slowly, slowly going in there. If in fact this grenade doesn't stop them, but it does actually at that point. So the CDAP player is still quite strong. And there comes the rifle. It bounces around at the corner, and there it took down Cot, who is about to put some bullets. Oh, Nizo here with the grenade came from behind, just dropped the grenade. Was killed before, but that grenade, however, did some damage. There is Pasmatis now has taken the documents, and he will run for his life. And where are his teammates? Are they going to back him up? It doesn't look too good for the Axis players right now because they're all just shut down, and there are three only inside this transmitter area. Whereas the other ones, I don't know where they are. If you want to let who are defending this. No, it's Iron and uh, Latu who are defending that the objective has once again been stolen. Is now at the initial allied spawn. Main blast door is closing. Lockheed, they're all coming in. There are four players there. Oh, that would be a perfect Panzerfaust opportunity. But, well, the small Panzerfaust rifle used the opportunity and took out three. No, two players, in fact. And CDAP, they are not as bad as I would have thought it would be. At the moment, they are quite strong. They have regained their forces, have joined the club here at the transmitter once again and are trying to hold them back. 
However, what I see at the moment is just the reduced ally spawn and giving them kind of an advantage because they're just coming in in intervals and coming in and coming in dying and it seems that this reduced spawn time is at the moment not uh, well, not doing any good to the exercise here, who have just now respawned, but are will be facing six ally players. The objective coming through. There we go. CDP have won Ardenless. Well, over here we are now at Brandorf, and uh, of course Vero have won the first map, and they're right now <coughs> they are defending. And uh, I, I hope this doesn't turn out in another full hold. Um, but I have to say they didn't really look any stronger any strong or strong at all my English is not perfect but uh, so I think maybe this uh, this can be a full hold but let's hope not I say your English is pretty decent and anyway my secret plan is to take over ITG and in the end we will have only non-native cast we will only have what cast? non-native casters non-native yeah that would be cool yeah yeah that's my secret okay. plan I'm going to carry it out no matter what <laughs> <laughs> alright well I'm done with that all right, so then we'll kick all the native ones. Right, they they suck anyway. <laughs> yes, I mean, well, who are they? Who? Their names? Who has ever heard of them? There are seven players who are left to ready up here on the CDP and the Plefka match, and we are on supply depot. Let's hope it's going to be going to be a bit more exciting uh, than your. Might be joining you for Nachtanbrück then. Nachtanbrück. Yeah, Nachtanbrück. that sounds pretty German and. Why? Because it is. I don't know who thought of. Maybe there's really. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If uh, there was actually. Uh, it was kind of. There was some sun when you started the map, and uh, the later it gets, the darker the map gets. So you will have to disadvantage if you take too long because it's just. Well, it's nightfall. And. Uh, On Nachtanbrück. Yeah, right. So you will be disadvantaged if you right. take too long. But this game is starting. So is mine. All right. Yeah, just get it. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I will just go ahead and count that in. It's gonna be starting in three, in two, in one, and we are off. And Supply deploy. Now, Stewie. Come here, second. The forward bunker. No, you don't want to. That's okay. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. Well, it's 14 minutes and 38 seconds left on this clock. And the flag has almost been captured. Oh, too bad. He ran in for the flag. There was one axis left. Took down the axis. The one line final, but the axis just spawned right at the flag. And that's just unfortunate there. By Lynx. Very close game here by Psychotic already. Psychotic have just spawned and are all going side. Let's see what that will come up with. Six players coming side. One has been taken down by the rifle grenade from Kip. And there goes Kepler inside. Yes, he's facing Addict. He takes down Addict almost, but he's back right by Bajuro. And Addict has got one or two HP left, but two. Oh, that just spawned. Well, well, well. Allies could have done so much more once again because they were all waiting outside. Only two allies went in that tunnel area. Didn't do much right now. Axis have just spawned a couple of seconds ago and are defending that flag with all they've got. Jinta incoming, taken down by addicts, and still no flag touching from allies. And uh, over to you. Yeah, right. We are here on Supply Depot, and the Polefka players have still managed to go in there, but they are about to do so. At the moment, it looks pretty good for them. And Chista with the double kill, in fact, is the only one left alive. Has put the needle into his. Uh teammate, but unfortunately the was taken down instantly, and there the engineers dynamite. dropped the dynamite, the engineers armed the dynamite, caught has scored a cold kill, that's the way it goes, there we are, just as I said, they have not got the flag yet, they have just now, and do they have a covert ops, doesn't look like it, so the exit players will have all the time in the world to set up their defense, and as we're waiting for the dynamite to explode, just over to you. Yeah, well the flag has just been captured, but it has already been reclaimed by Kaip, and uh, the allies are still not getting any further 13 12 minutes and 58 57 and 56 seconds left on this clock as slash is incoming taken down by uh what's his name kype kype's rival grenader and duro takes down together with attic takes down h3 and blake is covering that side get as well all the allies incoming from side again old quantosius trick i might say but it's not working out properly the vero guys are defending this well done they have touched the flag a couple of times but axis have just reclaimed it over and over and right now all the allies are going side again only h3 is now going up that stairs and kepler incoming doesn't take on anyone only two axes left inside oh no no revived and four axes left inside that bunker and the allies are still not further one meter or inch or 
mile. Centimeter. Feet. Centimeter. Whatever. And right now they're pushing main though. Good, because that's dead. exactly what Polevka are doing right now. They're planting dynamite at the main end, at least they attempted to do so, but unfortunately landmine there. I took the lucky. Where do you come up with a name like Lucky? Uh, one of the biggest arms supplier of the US. Anyway, we have 12 minutes exactly left on the clock if you want to sink again. And the dynamite is still not down. Polevka have already made it to the command post. They have constructed the command post. They are going for the main entrance. But there are too many exit players still alive to well, just give them a free ticket to the main entrance and the walls. So they will have to fight for it. And the way they're doing that right now, it's not working out because there's iron with the double kill and there are all the other teammates as well there. Letu is there at the command post. And as is Iron, but he just killed himself right now. The artillery support, however, has been set to the main entrance. And Polarka dudes are still spawning at the forefront of the command post construction. No idea why they did that. Once again, a landmine takes out the engineer. And we will see if they are finally going through. Lucky drops the dime at the main end. No landmine this time. No grenade this time. Dynamite. Looks good for him. And there he has planted the dynamite. So what's happening on brown though? Not nothing actually. The flag has still not been captured. Even though they're getting closer every time, the axes just keep reclaiming it. And the, especially Apple is looking very strong here. Um, but you know, I must say the same goes for Dura. Right now they're pushing main. They're not doing that uh, side uh, trick all the time with all six going side. And their incoming main right now does look good. But axes have just spawned again. And every time they get even close to that flag, it's just the axes that are spawning. And just reclaiming it or, or preventing it to be acclaimed. It doesn't matter. And right now pushing main again. It is a Kepler taken down by Met there. And Vero have once again survived another wave and taken down all the possible allies left there. Slash now incoming from the side together with Lynx. But Lynx pushes main. He's taken down Blake. But all the axes have just spawned again. And so the allies. But we only have five minutes have passed already exactly. And they still don't have that flag, and that's just not looking good at all. And I would be really disappointed if we would see a full hold because I would have expected much more from this match, and especially from Psychotic. Okay. All right, now Sinus incoming for the flag. Yes, they have got that flag, and the Axis cannot revive. Oh, yes, they can. One medic revives the one, and one medic is incoming for the flag. Have touched the flag, but they didn't spawn. Kaip did get a double nade kill there. It's still Duro alive, taken down by Jinta right now. And with 9 minutes and 30 seconds left on this clock, the Dynamite is finally put down there by Kepler. And they're not pushing side again. So... And while we're waiting the for the Dynamite to explode, let me just give you a short update on the Polesca yes. thing. Because they have actually managed to sneak through. Somebody was lucky there. He managed to drive the truck through, although there were three players around him. And then, while well, just Chester, he snuck through to the upper level. And then he just... Pull out the pliers and construct the crane from control. So we have 9 minutes and 12 seconds. We're actually waiting for the Blaffer place to finally go for the truck there. It's from it practice. We've been taking down just as he wanted to revive his teammate. 9 minutes and 4 seconds left on the truck. The truck is already rounding the first corner. That looks good for the Blaffka team here. Carl is there escorting the truck and he will throw an airstrike like any second. Oh, will he? He's being shot in the back now. Oh, that was not too good. The truck has come to a hold once again. But it looks good for Polarka. The time that will be set is around 7 to 8 minutes. So is that the same on Brownoff or is it going to take one longer? Well, there's still only 8 minutes or so left. Uh, as the allies are pushing in at the main and H3 they're self-killed. And that's unfortunate because there are not much axes left. Apple is left, Attic is left, Matt is left. But uh, the side gate has been destroyed. Right now they're going for the fence. Kefler and Slash. Slash is spawning some mines, but they're not there. Just go for the fence. Go for the fence, boy. Go, go, go. Engineer, just self kill. Go, Slash. Destroy it. Oh, self kill too. Not destroying it yet. Axes have all just now been put in position. Duro is watching that side gate. And 7 minutes and 56, 55 and 54 left on this clock as Lynx is pushing main. Pushing main, excuse me. And uh, that's the way it is right now. They're incoming though. Slash and 8 3. Seniors and Slash take one down. But yeah, nothing yet. Over to you. Right, and uh, I should maybe give you an, an update on what the config here. Uh, what kind of effect it had. I didn't see that many landmine kills. Could have been because they were just being raped here. And there's over 7 minutes, 18 seconds, by the way. So, I didn't see that many landmine kills. And. 
The spawn times, they seem to have the effect that there was not that much spawn killing. I, I didn't see, I mean, maybe it was because they were just under fire all the time, but neither from the Polefka nor from the, well, CDAP side, I saw that much spawn killing. So that might have been an effect of the spawn time. However, in one match, you can never ever say that because it's just, people are not used to that. They're used to 20 and 30 second spawn and suddenly there comes a 30 and uh, the 16 and 26 second spawns here, you never know if that was just the config or the fact that they didn't know that the spawn was, or they, they weren't used to the different spawn types. So, well, basically, that was supply in the time of 17 and 18 seconds, so I don't know. It, but the spawn times might have been a good thing for the Eli team right now, which I have always said it, it is a bad thing. To reduce them by the same amount because well, 26 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I think that's true. I mean, yeah, doesn't make much sense though. They, I mean, they almost spawn four times a minute, and the extra players they spawn two times a minute. So, so how is that any fair? Well, it's not fair, but if you give an, um, if you look at the, you know, if you see the EC skill type of players, there's a lot of of long holding supply depot. You know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and that's pretty long. Uh, well, it's pretty fast enough. So, oh, planting right now with Skepler. Oh, taking down my kite. Right. So, so, the match is starting here. Let me just count it in. All right. Three, two, one, and we are off for the second round on supply. And Polefka, they have to show. No, actually, not. Uh, what? They want to say CDAP, they have to show some impressive fragging right now if they want to beat that time. 7 minutes and 18 seconds, you do not beat that by just running around and scoring an occ occasional flag. No! You win that by showing some team play by just pushing back your opponent and capturing the important objectives, destroying the important objectives in time. So, as there's not much happening right now, eh, apart from shooting here, there comes a pass of us completely misses. We will follow Brown and I'm gonna interrupt you right now, Dynamite has been planted here at Browndorf. So I think uh, maybe let's see how this goes. Psychotic have just planned that it was Kepler, and the, all the allies are inside the bunker, and no Axis is near. Axis have just spawned, and another dynamite has been put down. So the Axis have about 20 seconds to defuse this. 15, to be honest, and it's not looking good for the Axis though. But 10 minutes time is doable. Engineer has been taken down by H3 there, and he is skipped. Is there another engineer left? I don't think so. No, he's skipped as well, and this is a GG. Yes, Blake has given it already. Dynamite has just blown. And uh, so Psychotic have set a time of 10 minutes and 19 seconds. We're just gonna wait for the guys to ready up. Over to you. Alright, so and we are still witnessing CDAP here. Uh, well, leading the way to the bunker, but unfortunately... This way stops right before they can enter the holy halls of the supply depot bunker here because they were just, they are taken down. And there comes the occasional where I mean, there comes a frag from time to time. But in the end, it's just not enough because Belefka guys are still on their feet. In fact, now with the double thumbs frag. Will that be it for the CDAP players? Just they keep talking about how they're not getting through. Will they go through? ET1 with the double grenade kill. There, one has been revived. It is. Chester was still left alive there. Khan has been taken down by that cold and then comes Iron with the Garen. Makes it another kill here, lucky with the Luger. Uh, do you want to say something? No? I thought so. Anyway, there, CDAP are about to go for the flag, but unfortunately, Bolev have just respawned and are re capturing or regaining control of the supply depot front here. Yeah, there comes the grenade by Iron, there comes starting. the Tom's back, and well, Stewie is starting. Yeah. We are starting in 2-1, and Vero is the attacking team. Let me just give a straight ETDB sync up. 10 minutes and 14, 13, and 12 seconds left. And Vero is doing the same trick as Psychotic. Everyone is going side, except they, are, they don't give a damn about that fire support. They're just rushing through, and Jinta takes down two at the side gate. And one dives his own grenade, and Kepler with a double grenade kill there. And still incoming though, H3 takes one down, and all the Allies players have been taken down, well defended here by a Psychotic, Jinta with a double kill, and the other one with a double kill, and all the Allies are going side again, looks like Med High Skills team just used the same tactics, and Jinta with a double kill there, oh no it's just one, yep there goes the double, and a oh, perfect crossfire here by H3, Jinta, and of course the Naders from uh, Kepler too, still no one incoming, all the Allies have been taken down again, this is easy to defend. Oh yes, they're gonna do it the same way again. All the allies in coming side and Jinta with his fire support. They're taking down two guys. One was his teammate and Kevlar took him down with his rifle grenade. They're incoming right now. Kai take down one two. And they almost got the flag. <laughs> that was a nicely timed nade by Kevlar who killed his teammate. 
and they took down as well Apple who was going for that flag. Well played, the Argenta has now been revived, this was the other one, Engineer going up from that up the other, and 3-4 allies now pushing main, finally. Kype is planting that dynamite, or is he not? Is he? Come on, yes, plant it. Waiting for some juice, and there he's planting it, and the flag has just been captured, no axes left alive, and after about two minutes they got this flag, and that is uh, two minutes, four minutes, five minutes faster than, than a Psychotic. So, as the dynamite has been put down here, let's go over to you. Yeah, and we are here as the the Allied players are finally making it through there. There was a pause because uh, Iron lagged out, unfortunately. So we are now back, have uh, paused the match, and the Political players are still defending the command, which is doing them pretty well, so with 3 minutes and 30 seconds chance, like quite slim here for the CAP side, that they are still going to make it. Although they are now going for the command post, and they might get that command post even now. Chester there, still defending. There's Madness there, coming up with the Luga frag, Lockheed with the double MP40 frag. Once again, the master of double frag in this match. Chester makes another double. And there we are, as ET1 supports the first frag. As Madness, Thomas Grenade throws the command post. ET1 with the double frag. I'm only talking about double frags right now, but that's all that is happening right now. Chester, Lockheed, Fast Madness, and they are, they are decimated the CDAP side and well it doesn't look too good for them 2 minutes and 50 seconds I doubt this is going to happen there's going to be a victory for this team so can we say about anything about the barrel versus psychotic match well allies have pushed through already and they're now uh, around the bunker axes are defending in inside and outside a little bit and Jinta takes down one takes down two again another double kill there by Jinta is looking very strong in this defense so far and the Axis are just defending that bunker, H3 is outside that bunker watching the main area, but the side gate has of course also been destroyed uh, and right now there are two, three, three allies incoming from that side gate it's Attic, Duro and Meth, no engine left there Kefler going for that back rape, can he take him down? No he cannot, Attic takes him down, but Sinus comes there for the rescue and that takes him down, oh but Meth took down Sinus and right now it's Attic together with Meth coming up from the side gate, only Lynx is left and right now it's got back up by Jinta, yeah Lynx takes down one the other one don't know what happened to him. Meth there with his uh, nice nade kill from that spawn. Well played by him. It's a spawn killing them. And he's not picked up. So that means it's a 6 on 5 situation right now. Kaip incoming as only his cult. Slash and Lynx are defending inside. Magenta pushes out, but Meth takes him down. Also take down his teammate. Three allies are still incoming. They're gonna plant this right now as Blake comes in from the other side upstairs. Yeah, totally. Only H H3 is left there, but uh, that was totally nice team where a couple of guys coming in from that upstairs way from the side gate and then the allies went in from the other upstairs way and only H3 is left now with Jinta coming in from main still two allies left, Slash incoming right now, he's back the a uh, lot of them and he is gonna defuse this, oh yes, well played well played by the defense there, all the allies recovering main, Apple now with a double kill all the allies recovering main and Slash just went in from the back and back raped them and the engineer is planting again, it's Blake though, let's see how this goes. He has just planted, 5 minutes and 43 seconds left on the clock, Axis incoming have just spawned. Already all the engineer has been spawned, killed by Addict, and has been gipped. Oh no no no, is blowing, this dynamite is blowing in, oh they don't have, no engineering coming, it's blowing in 15 seconds. Yeah, already the GG's have been given up because the engineer is dead, and this match has been played. It's a GG, and Vero won fair and square, over to you. Yeah, it's a GG here as well. The CDMP are not gonna make it. The truck is not even managed to drive through. Not even the dynamite has been planted. The supply brigade. Impressive team play here so far by Polevka. We're really. They are moving as one unit, which is a good thing. However, we have 15 seconds left here, so. Care to join me for that match? I don't know how long it's nothing but it's going to take them, so. Maybe it should. I'll just go to uh, Helix versus Keep Right, right so I, will, I will join you when I'm finished with that yes. one. That seems like a splendid idea. Yeah, it does. Sure, so uh, we are here and... Allies couldn't beat the clock for life with CDAP. We're going to take this to another map. Be sure to enable downloads. Uh, triple W downloads, especially if you want to download a map and if you want to watch the next one, because, well... Otherwise, you will see a black screen or it will just tell you that you do not have the required map. So, uh, 
well, I should probably play Sounder. We've been going for some time, so I will just play Sounder. Four out of five dentists agree that listening to Radio ITG has absolutely no positive effect on your teeth. Well, apparently the odds are one in five that your teeth are actually getting whiter at this very moment. This is the new Radio ITG. Dude, that, that map, it's so huge. Let me just come check it out real quick. Alright. Let me just get that IP. Uh, uh, I will give it to you. Yeah, that seems good. Wait a second, wait a second. Because I've downloaded it for not for nothing, of course. Yeah, no, that's true. Let's check it out. It, it looks a lot like Raider, to be honest. Eh. All the graphics, they look like Raider. Really. So... And the design it looks like Raider. I have no idea what they really. Well, I have a, I have a idea, an idea what they're going to. Do. So there's some ammo thing that they need to destroy, but it can be rebuilt or it cannot be rebuilt. But th there's a cannon. Uh, no, actually, there's a cannon that can be destroyed and be rebuilt, and there's a, an ammo thing that can not be rebuilt. So. Actually, if you have destroyed the one thing, you need to, yeah, well, just have a look at yourself. I, I don't know, I've never played it, and 15 megabytes is just fucking huge, and that's really the way this maps look. It does, map it does looks look great. a lot like radar, you know, given the textures and shit. And, uh, I remember other map that's also a lot like radar, uh, Cathedral. Cathedral's like no. It was claimed to be a lot like radar. No, at that least. Isn't, isn't that more a map uh, where you have interior fights, so like you're inside a building? Am I? Am I, well, I prefer map those. Map. This map is quite large. I prefer smaller maps like Roundorf. Yeah, so do I. I mean, I, I mean, the first this is huge. The first stage here, it, it's already large, and they're they've not even made it to the second one. We actually have to go for the objectives. There's just so many spawns and so many things to construct here. It looks like a public map to me, let me be honest. Well, yeah. Well, I'm curious. Yeah, I think so. Hog is better from what I just saw quickly right, on right, that server. Yeah, so it's more, more linear more com and... More what? compact, smaller, tighter. And uh, I don't know about Snatch, though, but maybe they could have picked Snatch better. You know what, Snatch? I have a great recommendation for you. <laughs> yes, this I know. Frag on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Great, so we are getting this match started, and actually we're now both on the server, which is a good thing. So, as far as yeah, Helix was good, it's not going to start it, we can just stay here. Three, two, one, and we are off. I have no idea how to call all these places. There's a gun that needs to be uh, planted or something exploded. Two airstrikes coming in. It seems that the defenders, they have some idea how to defend, but God only got his teammate there. I have no idea, so I, I'm sorry, I'm kind of lost, so maybe you can help me out. Two landmines have been planted here, but well... I can try, but I have absolutely not prepared for this map, and I see right now a bunch of allies incoming from this little house. Oh, Iron's is getting coming right there, and they're coming, taking on Lockheed. Oh, Lockheed with his nade, Iron's takes him down with his gear, and then there you go. The something has been captured, oh yes, the forward bunker. That was a nice There's soldier. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's lost a new one. And they're now blowing this um, fence type of thing. Planting yeah, dynamite. Yes, di side gate is this called, Rao. And uh, they're close to the CP right now. Can, can they jump over this? Or not? There's kind of a main entrance that looks a lot like radar. There's a thing that you have to blow, and there's a door where you can go. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same like radar. Oh, except, uh, triple rifle grenade. Nice. Yeah, the planting dynamite hasn't been planted, though, the main. Dynamite planted. I think they get that. According to Adacore, yeah. I have to I have to say this. According to Adacore, which we all know, you know, lovely C B admin, he says that Nachtheimbrück is actually smaller than Browndorf. So not my words, you know, but he says Nachtheimbrück is really small. Yeah, I think he said something about people always thinking the maps are large in that uh Lugafrag thread, so I'm not going to say it's large anymore. It's uh, just over. I'm gonna say it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, it's oversized. Alright, it's, it's, it's not large. Like it's oversized. Nice sounders, though. Yeah. So the um, the ally team has breached the main door, sounders. and the command post has been constructed, and they're now. Oh, they need to blow up these guns. All right. Well, they planted at one gun, and what is the other objective? Uh, there's some ammo thing. 
I need to blow up the gun and an ammo thing. Yeah. All right. And Wait. the the ammo thing, no, it's the inside. gun can be repaired, but the, the ammo thing cannot. The gun can be repaired even. Well, yes, nice. so you have to destroy the ammo thing first because if you destroy the gun first, then it can still be rebuilt, so you will end up with two objectives in the end. And that's well, but if you're exactly at the gun, right. you might as well destroy it. You know, if you're if you're at there. But where's that? Where is that ammo ammo thing? Is that? What the hell is that? I need to blow up this fence too or something? No, I doubt that. No, where's? I don't see the ammo thing. I'm sorry. Kind of lost this map is huge. You can even go past that building and then go inside and get go. At yeah, inside that building, there's. I mean, you can go past it and there's a truck. Yeah, I don't even. know. Add a quarter, come on. Large. So he th he thinks the design is silly though. The the design of Nachtheim right. is silly. So where do they need to destroy a radio too or something? Where's the nightfall anyway? I don't see any nightfall on map. It's already ten o'clock, dude. Maybe that's why. Yeah, all right. So we can only play that after nightfall, I guess. We have to play these maps, you know, all right. like at nightfall. You cannot play it in the morning. You have to play it in the morning. It's cooler with sun and shit. So, uh, oh, I, I, I think, I think that's exactly what this map is going to be. So if you play it in the morning, there's going to be sun, and if you play it in the evening, there's going to be well, nightfall. <laughs> yes, I still have, don't, I still don't have no idea what that ammo cabinet thing is. There's, this there is? should be something on a map where you can see it, but I let I me check know. that. I think is that the thing right? Is it? Uh, I think it's oh, the one at the, the truck, isn't it? Right? Is that at the truck? Is that? But that's Are not you, ammo. You come can, on. Uh, what? That's give Oh, munition. Yeah, you're right. There's give the symbol. Well, of course you cannot repair this if you blow up ammunition. Some, it's gone. I think there's a fence that you could bo uh, buy, uh, build, buy, build right in front of it, but nobody has built it yet. All right. So you have to go through all the building into the bank, and you're telling me this is not larger than brown oh Well, it is quite fast though. They've been playing five minutes, and they're already around that building. That's because know, nobody so. knows the map. I mean, all these ah, uh, the attackers don't know it either. Always oh, nice. paused. Incredible. This is time for me to move over to the other one. Yeah, just uh, go ahead and take a look. Right. Let me check that one. Now I'm. I will cast a pause right now, so there's a lot that can still be built, but it doesn't wait, 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 wait. no. I will interrupt you right maybe. because Adacor has said something important. First phase, the spawns are about five seconds apart, which means it's uh, it's effect effectively irrelevant. In fact, most teams don't even bother with it and just fall back and build the defenses, plant mines, etc. Ammo is at the back behind the actual spawn in the buildings. Yeah, at the truck. All right, so we got that right. Cool. So the, the, well. the ammunition is still there, and I can't see anyone planting. Maybe you can. Is there something that you can s destroy with the covered ups? Because that would be like a good thing. I what? did. I did saw a door somewhere with had like a bunch of bunch of br bricks in front of it. it. Looked like it could be destroyed. I mean, it looks like a lot of action though. I think I it's destroyed already though. I, I've not seen. Oh, they are yeah, building that fence. Yeah, yeah, that has to be destroyed by the covert. It's kind of like field. They, they're just mixing all the big popular maps. Well, not big, but yeah, know, it all looks the. Like that. Leto popular. is there. He's hiding. Oh, there's a door where you can get in with the cool. covert ops. Nice. If you have that covert ops, you might as well just blow the fence. It's no yeah, point. Well, but you can go through the door as well. Uh, so that you are not noticed, right? Yeah, but yeah. Well, I don't know. Meh. Right. I mean, the uh, if you, if you plant the dynamite, you are noticed, and they can just take the door to get in. So the door doesn't seem to do any much good. Can I jump over it if they have two guys? Though that should be cool. Uh, that would Probably be, not. That would be good. Yeah, I mean, there's the boxes. Maybe you can trick jump. Over there. It's too far away, I think. But maybe. But on the other side, maybe these boxes. I don't know. Oh, he's incoming right now, though. Only caught left. Oh yes, there goes the engineer. I, I say and there are too many camping spots for the exit players here. Oh. There is the engineer. And the He's dead already. Right now? Now. He's dead, right. But nothing has been planted yet. Right. That's a good thing with maps you don't know. You have no idea. Adakor ha had something more important. Well, it was a good point actually. This. He said it's more Oasis like because you have the, the, the objective, you have it behind the Axis nice. spawn. We see the and it's kind of like Oasis. Spam kill. Well, it, it looks to me as if this uh, choke point is going to be like the ultimate spam point. 
So, uh, I guess teams will not bother about this gun. They will say, screw that gun. We're going to defend that ammo thing. Because the gun cannot be defended anyway. Because it's just too far outside the spawn. The oh, they've destroyed the yeah. gate now. And what's what's happening now? Oh, I get lost inside these hallways. They've destroyed it. So all they need now is to plant. They have plant it behind it. And uh, all they need now is an engineer to defuse it. They, what they could do is just rebuild the gun while they're waiting for the dynamite to blow off here. So that they have not lost yet. Alright. Oh, what? I'm sorry, I'm typing something. I need, yeah, alright, right, sorry. I was just connecting. Well, while the dynamite is exploding, they could rebuild the gun and then it would actually... <laughs> yes, that is. Well, that is what you can do, of course. I mean, oh, if right, all that's the allies... exactly what they did. If, oh yeah, if all the allies are there and they plant the dynamite and that ammo thing, you can have two engineers going for the defuse and one engineer just going for the plant, going for the uh, repair. Right, that is that is a nice element, but I don't know if they are actually going to hold this one right now because it's quite far outside the exit spawn. And Adakor also said you can do the jump from those boxes into that uh, ammo thing. What is that guy doing? Is he playing new maps all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, but he says you can, you can jump. You get the three high stack boxes. He All says right. you can jump them. So he's probably Clown Mace's official map tester. Because he has, he has well knew Heart of Gold. I don't know how he can do that. He has what? He, he knew Heart of Gold as we tested it on something. Maybe he's secretly an Australian guy. Maybe he made all these maps himself. <laughs> yes! Who uh. knows? Well, it's, the thing about your team maps is that you need some time to understand. When I'm casting Counter-Strike, I mean, there was a new map on Counter-Strike Switch, it was Contra. And I just flew through the maps, uh, through the map, like two minutes, and I already knew what they were all about. Knew everything. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's the same on Supply Depot and Brown, I guess. I mean, it's pretty easy. I think it's just distracting that it's so large. However, we still we see. But it's also distracting because it's really open. You know, I mean, like in Browndorf, you have buildings which you cannot pass. You know, there. If you look from the top, you can see well. You have a right way and a left way. Right. But, but um, what's the map called? Nachtheimbrück is more open, so more confusing that way. And uh, well, more open to any spam of any kind, which we actually see quite. That is true a lot as well. Moment. I oh, I see a lot of build ups there. What's the matter with uh, the Helix match, anyway? Oh, well, I can tell you something more about Articor. He has played this map two years ago in Dynamite Savage. Okay. Wait, why? Maybe you should invite him on the show sometime. Talk about new maps. I should, but he's shy, <laughs> I've been told. Yes. <laughs> he probably is. Anyway, there are two, two Dynamites planted. It looks like this is going to go off. Caught this there. First kill. No, no, he should have knifed him. What did he do there? That looks good for CDAP, there comes another airstrike, we'll probably do some team damage here. Yes it will, but Dynamite is going off. GG! And it has kind of a delay this map, or has it? Well, uh, the frags don't look too good, but it, uh, well, it was nice, it was watchable, let, it, let me say that. Don't you agree? It was watchable, for sure. Uh, yeah, well, anything is watchable, you know, as a spectator, it's much easier to do I mean, No, I say Valhalla is not watchable. Meh, well, I don't know. My ET is not built for one-on-one, -on -one, in my opinion, though. Yeah. One-on-one -on -one players suck, anyway. <laughs> I bet they point you. Yeah, that's why they suck. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, we only need one more guy here, by the way, at Helix for Skudinev for the uh, EuroCup 13 season. And I kind of want to say something about this because this is an interesting match. If you look at groups they're in uh, in the uh, Euro Cup season, the uh, yeah, Helix it's, have it's very very interesting. And Helix have to win that if they want. Yeah, to only FFRT is out, and Kujinep has uh, two wins and one loss. Skidivo has two wins and one loss, and Poleko has two wins and one loss. And the Helix, of course, because they uh, got that loss from the SFX. They have one win and one loss, so this is their third map, uh, third match, and this is the final match for Kujunep. So if Kujunep wins this one, they are through, and if Helix lose this one, they're pretty much out. Uh, so Helix needs to win. Yeah, both teams uh, need to win this one. And 
the maps are bound up in radar. So it's an interesting tight group on which only uh, FFRT is certain of being left out. And anyone can still uh, continue apart from there. Still, if QGNF win, they are pretty much in, aren't they? Yeah, if they win, they're in. Then you have three wins and one loss. So if that wins, then they're through. Definitely. All right. And if Helix wins, then QGNF is... Yeah, they might be out then. And I know that Helix are quite desperate and uh, want to win this one. Well, Helix have performed well. Yeah, unfortunately. They, yeah. I, I mean, they have won all their matches. Uh, at least uh, they have the head <laughs> uh, before the rest thing came across. Yeah, they they did win Skid Evil and they did win the other one. So they are all looking strong. So even though, yeah, they got one forfeit loss. Quite so I think my I guess is that Skid Evil will not continue. Even yeah, though they I got that so. forfeit win, I, th I don't think they will. All right, it's a pretty open group. It is. Not true. The yeah, match is I think starting, Polekwa however, will. Here on, uh, oh! 3, 2, 1. I, I, uh, is there a point in sinking it anyway? We'll see now in like 50 seconds. Oh my god, so many aspects being tossed. That's just incredible. That's. <laughs> and Cod once again does the team frag. He did that in the offense and he does it in the defense. So well played here. And well, what I just said was that the first stage is being given up by uh, almost all the There's a flag that you can capture, but it was not captured yet. So see if you're we're starting by the way. All right, so just I mean just concentrate on creating up with this helix for the moment. This game is starting in three, two, one, fight, and we are on our way uh, with um, uh, we. I'm sorry as the attacking team and they're not all taking side reverse as a panzer is going up there together with dead meat what can they do oh yes there he goes nade kill there by murder takes down one reverse with his panzer take reverse reverse whatever Reverse. takes down another one and the helix not looking strong so far only one is left the second no second and riddler are left reverse still out there they go helix just spawned but lang is incoming yeah, cannot do nothing with that well, fortunate spawn there by the Axis. Tonis there with a double kill. Can you make it a triple kill? He's watching upstairs that way. Ritla with a nade kill and Murda coming for the back rape. Yes, it's looking good for Helix so far. Oh, Tonis makes it a triple kill. As Clown was on a double kill as well. Right now we have Vikat who is planting. Yep, there he goes. Flag has just been captured. Only one Axis left alive. And Alas have just spawned at the flag. 13 minutes and 57, 56 and 55 seconds left on the clock. And the COVID Ops has a uniform. And yep, there they go. This could be a very fast game. Let's see where the Axis are at. Axis have set up their defense. Oh yeah, they're not pushing out. They're not pushing out. They're staying in right here. Uh, around that bunker. Two guys pushing uh, main low. Two guys pushing main up. And, uh, two guys pushing uh, side gate. Building that. So, uh, Allies have pushed through the first stage. Over to you. Yeah, well, here dynamite they have pla they had planted the dynamite already, but it was diffused at this main entrance, and now they're trying to get through. They could get through, but they could it up. So however, they do have no such thing, so dynamite they will not make it through. And well, dynamite the exit players are actually d attempting to defuse here, and the airstrike has been tossed. There are two entrances, aren't there? Yeah, two entrances into the back, and the both have been planted. So we will see the CDAP players coming in. No, Polefka players actually coming in any second now as the Dynamites are going off. An airstrike has been tossed in and ET1 has to retreat. So, well, kind of unorganized right now, but well, what's the matter with the now? Well, Ritla just made a double rifle grenade kill there, taking down those guys at the side. He didn't go for the, for the, for the building of the fence, which he, he could have done it, you know, but of course he didn't know that, but he could have. And that, that means that the side gate has been destroyed, and that fence over there too. And that means all the axes are inside that bunker right now. Reverse incoming from main upstairs, together with Lang and Tennis. Oh, Ritla takes down the engineer, but he's not revived. And he, he's not gift though, he's revived now. Second there with a the Luger kill, but Tonis can revive him too. Ritla with a double nade kill there. The defense of Axis is pretty well set up, and the attack of allies is two. Two guys or three guys are coming from up, upside, and two or three coming from up main. It is looking good. Figure now income from upside together with reload and that meat. There he goes. And Ton is from the other side. And Ritla together with Murda taking them down with Raptor Medic is incoming right now. Murda takes down another one and a team kill there from Snoop and second. Lang with his rifle grenade kill is incoming right now. There's Lang from upstairs main. Oh, taken down by Ritla's K43. Well played. He's dropped. There goes reload. 
there goes he but he's facing three axes and he's never gonna make that right now now there's two allies who accompany who are accompanying him and Viga take down one like the, with his nade takes on another one that means there's no medic left there are only raptor and an engineer and Axis have to spawn through, yet yeah, Ritla is watching me. There he goes with his rifle grenade. Vika is planting, and Ritla takes him down. Oh, I have to explain this one. It was Ritla together with Raptor who were left. And Ritla fle fled to the main. And as they were planting, he ran back from main into the bunker and prevented them from planting. But he didn't give him. And the engineer has been revived, and the dynamite has been planted. And 17 seconds left on this clock. And this could be a very fast map. And Kujinap are surely playing impressive here. And Helix, even though they did defense, defend it pretty much uh, reasonably, snooped there with a local kill, taken down by Vigard, and yes, the GG's has been given, and this is a 5 minute map, and that's pretty fast, I must say, Kujinap, well done here. Yeah, bunker controls have been destroyed. 5 minutes for Kujinap and Brownhoff? Well, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not good for Team Helix, however. <laughs> no, it's certainly not. It's good for Kujinap, and at the moment, CDAP are good as well. So, only goodness here, at the moment. Uh, five minutes are left on the clock and the left players are having a hard time coming in there because CDP and it, they now know how to defend that. Well, that I mean that looks a lot like Raider, this interior, there's a, there's mobile and every step I'm reminded of Raider in some way. So, but I'm lagging because Punk Plus 2 is making screenshot to see if I'm cheating while casting. I think you are, Wallhack. I am, yeah. I am. That's why we cash, you know, because right. if we play, we get busted. Well, we're just waiting for one more guy to ready up here, and that is Big Head. Oh, he has just ready up. So we are starting with Helix on the attack. Now, five, it's actually four minutes and nine seconds, but it is doable. You, you can do it. I mean, if, if, if Kujanap can do it, so can you. Well, let's hope. Two, one, fight. But early there we have started right now. ATTV sync up four minutes and three, two, one. Fire support has been chucked down at the side gate, but only second is coming side. And there the allies are coming main. Helix Clown is going up main, takes down one. And the other allies are going up. Yeah, they're upstairs right now. Second takes down one. And Raptor together with Snoop incoming main low. There they are. Taking down Lang. Axis have just spawned, except for the engineer who has no he has not missed his spawn. Well played by him. And the uh, dead meat. Murder Snoop drops one, dead meat drops one, dead meat drops two. And Snoop and Clown is not planting already. This could be an, yeah, they could even defeat this time. Flag has not been captured though. And they're not going to capture it unless Murda wins this fight. No, Reverse. Oh, Reverse had 20 HP left, took down the remaining medic. But Clown was planting, and while he was planting, he went back, took down Reverse before Reverse could even uh, revive his teammate. And that means Alice have got this flag uh, with 3 minutes and 5 seconds on left on this clock. Over to you. Well, Dynamite was already planted at the ammo thing, but it gets accused in time. So, the Polefka players have made it through here and have planted at the pack cannon now. However, the Dynamite at the... Well, the ammo pack is still not in, and Leto is now just camping there. There's a ladder where you can climb out of this thing, quite good. So, well, I don't know. At the moment, it doesn't look as if CDP, no, as if Polefka are going to make this, because CDP are now defending the way they should defend that. But, well, my general impression is that this is a, I don't know, it, it is good because it offers so many ways of attacking here, but, well, I don't know. So, 2 minutes and 15 seconds left and Polefka have not planted yet. They have destroyed the gun, but, well, they still need to destroy this ammo. Well, it's 2 minutes and 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7 left on this clock here as the Axes are already retreated. They have retreated to the bunker as Ton is watching main. And uh, a couple of allies are coming up main. It's 3 allies, Snoop second and Ritla. That means the other 3 allies have got to come in from another way. They're not, the side gate has not been destroyed, so that means it pretty much clears out all the entrances. And Clown takes down one, Ritla drops down another one, and uh, Murda drops down the other one. Only Snoop is left there together with second right now. He's phasing one, two, three axes left there. Right now they're incoming from the spawn. They took the spawn way. Murda incoming together with Raptor, but Deadmeat takes them both down. 
and yes, they have all been gipped. Only Snoop is alive with his Colt. He did take down one, but he's been revived already. And all the axes are left in the bunker. And I think this is a GG. One minute and 20 seconds left on this clock. No axes, no allies inside. That means that they have just probably spawned. And they're now going for their final attack. This has to be it. You have to plant in 36 seconds. Uh, with 36 seconds left on this clock. And there they go, three allies going up and three allies going low. Uh, no, they're going the spawn way, they have only 30 seconds left on the clock, even less than 30 seconds. A, a red line in coming from upset now to get out second and Raptor. And the other guys are coming in from the spawn way, they have to do this now. Only 10 seconds left to plan, there he goes, it's rip. he jumped down. No, he had, oh, great from behind by Lang, and this is a GG. They were close to do it. But they didn't, and that means that Kujinap, they didn't look too strong in the defense, but they have managed to pull this off and have won the first map, and the second map is Radar. Over to you. Yeah, well, it's a GG here as well. CJP were close in the end as well, but they didn't make it. No, it was, of course, Polevka him getting confused. Polevka were close in the end, but didn't make it, so we have had a nice show match here. No more than no MG, less mines, and, well, the reduced spawn times. It looked a bit cha chaotic, of course, on this map, especially on this map, so I don't know if Nachtenbruch is really going to be the next big hit. However, I'm going to leave that server now to join you for the Kujinem vs. Helix match. Alright. Hopefully. So well, we're just, uh, by the way, Ritla is the highest fragger here and the lowest